So there's a question from a reader, uh, a TikToker, that asks, what is intestinal metaplasia? When we use the word intestinal metaplasia, we normally refer to uh, uh, lining of the digestive tract that shouldn't have intestinal lining, but now has intestinal lining. So usually uh, in the esophagus, we have what we call squamous cell lining. Then in the stomach, we have what we call cuboidal lining. But due to some condition or injury, the lining of the esophagus may change from looking like a, looking like a, um, a instead of looking like esophagus, look like a large intestine. So we call it intestinal metaplasia in the esophagus. We can also see intestinal metaplasia in the stomach. So we call it either gastric inter intestinal metaplasia or GIM or uh, gastroesophageal junction, GE junction, intestinal metaplasia. We know that uh, when we have intestinal metaplasia or IM, they are actually a precancerous condition and they may progress to cancer. The risk of progression is very, very low. I always tell my patient, if you Google IM and cancer, they say, oh, there's a link, but not to worry because uh, the risk of cancer is very low. Expert estimated to be 0.5% per year. That's very, very low. But because it's more than zero, we are still concerned. My own personal experience, I think the risk of cancer progression is even less than 0.5% per year, but it is definitely not zero because I do see cancer in uh, progressing from IM. So what do you do if you have IM? First, we try to control the cause. If your IM is caused by H. pylori infection, we should stop the H. We should kill the H. pylori uh, uh, bacteria. If it's caused by other injury like cigarette smoking or alcohol, well, time to stop. So the expert recommend that we should survey patient with IM on a regular basis. Because the risk of cancer is low at 0.5% per year, we normally recommend doing a follow-up surveillance scope at about two to three year interval. We'll do the scope inside, look for anything abnormal, look for cancer. When there's no cancer, we'll take some tissue biopsy from different parts of the stomach or the esophagus, depending on where the IM was found. We're looking for something called dysplasia. IM is precancerous, but IM does not become cancer overnight. You change from in intestinal metaplasia alone, intestinal metaplasia with low grade dysplasia, further progressing to intestinal metaplasia with high grade dysplasia, and then cancer. So if we pick up any dysplasia, then we need further treatment. To sum up, intestinal metaplasia in the esophagus of the stomach is a precancerous condition, but please do not be over alarmed because the risk of Turning cancer is very low at 0.5% per year, according to the expert. We do need to correct the underlying cause if there's any, and we need to do a surveillance, gastroscopy, and biopsy about uh, two to three years later. This is Dr. Desmond Noy.